Hi dear students, today we are going to start our English classes for the 10th standard. In our English textbook, we have uh, two volumes and in the first volume we have three units. And the first unit is the glimpses of green. As the name indicates, the, the word green stands for nature, you know. So this unit is entirely about the nature. And the second unit is the frames. From the word itself, we, we know that frames is the other name for cinema. So the end unit, second unit is for, it is related with the cinema. And the third unit, the law of values. Law means stories. We have some moral stories there in that third unit. Come to the first unit, the word, the name of the unit is the glimpses of green. We have heard that nature is our mother. Is that really so? Do you think that nature is our mother? We will get a clear idea about this concept towards the end of this unit. I welcome you to the first unit. In this first unit, we have two short stories and one poem. And the first short story is The Adventures in Banyan Tree. It is written by the famous English writer Ruskin Bond. And the second one is The Snake and the Mirror. This is written by our beloved Vaikam Muhammad Bashir. And the poem, the lines written in early spring is written by the nature poet William Wordsworth. Let's come to first unit, the adventures in a banyan tree. Raskin Bond is an Indian writer of British parents. He wrote many stories for children and they are widely accepted among all the children around the world. In this story, this is about a boy's experience on a banyan tree. The boy himself is the narrator of the story. Now let's go to the text. I'll read the story for you. Just listen. Adventures in a banyan tree. Though the house and the grounds of our home in India were grandfather's domain, the magnificent old banyan tree was mine chiefly because grandfather at the age of 65 could no longer climb it. Grandmother used to tease him about this and uh, would speak of a certain Countess of Desmond, an English woman who lived to the age of 170 and would have lived longer if she hadn't fallen while climbing an apple tree. The spreading branches of the banyan tree which curved to the ground and took root again, forming a maze of arches, gave me endless pleasure. The tree was an older than the house, older than grandfather, as old as the town of Dera, nestling in a valley of, at the foot of the Himalayas. Now, let us look into the unfamiliar words of this paragraph. Magnificent means wonderful. Maze means entangled structure. In which I'll kudi korinja nilkunna ennala arthathilana. Namukki idhila ariyam. Aalinde verigal mughalindu thalrotum avadundu inna mughalotu kaitu kudi korinja nilkunna gana. Aaviru structure nayana maze ennu parayinnathu. Though the house and the grounds of our home in India were grandfather's domain, the magnificent old banyan tree was mine chiefly because grandfather at the age of 65, he could not climb over it. The complete house was under the control of grandfather, but only the part he could not control was the banyan tree because he, at the, even at the age of 65, he could not climb over it. So, he did not take the control of that banyan tree. So the boy enjoyed the complete ownership of this tree. Namukariyam, manishayana namukku avana kariyatthu dhinda shatru vana ennula namukariyam. Alle, namukku namulu kandit indu kallin kate indu bai kodi kaan ariyatthu aalukal bai kine kuttam parin arukkundu kaan arindu. Adhu pole, just like that. Grandfather did not come to the area of banyan tree because he could not climb over it. And here it shows the humor sense of the writer. The writer start the chapter with a good humor. It attracts the readers to the story. And grandmother always tease him about his inability to climb over it. She always take an example of some Countess of Desmond. Countess, Countess in the child, in England, Prabhu Kumari Countess. Noble woman. 
countess of Desmond, Desmond le countess, she lived to the age of 117. Can you imagine that? 117 age, age. And she, grandmother says that she she would have lived longer. She un, unless she fell down from the apple tree. Even at the age of 65, grandfather is not able to climb the tree. Compare these situations. A lady of 117 age climbed over an apple tree and fell down and died. And even at the age of 65, grandfather is not able to climb it. So this shows grandmother always tease her, uh, tease her husband and this shows the lovely relationship between the grandfather and grandmother. Here in this uh, area, we can know that there is a good relationship between the husband and wife. Now the author comes to explain the beauty of this banyan tree. The boy, the protagonist boy explains. The spreading branches of the banyan tree which curved to the ground and took root again forming a maze of arches gave me endless pleasure. The boy's main habit and his hobby was to climb over the landing area on the banyan tree. He built a small platform over the banyan tree and uh, usually he climbed over the, that platform and uh, spent time over there. The spreading branches of the banyan tree curved to the ground then root take, take took the root again. This is the banyan tree. You all know 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 the spreading branches curved to the ground again take the root again and forming a maze of arches. Maze. Pine. Kamana Gridil Nilkuna Ru Maze. Age Kudi Korana Ru Rubamana Al Maratanandawa. Spending time there gave the boy the endless pleasure. He he liked to spend his leisure time there. Whenever he time he got time, he climbed over the banyan tree and spent the time there. The tree was older than the house older than grandfather and as old as the town of Dera. Atraim Prayala, Aldeka Prayam, Namal Biology Laka Partition Dao, Alde Prayam or in the report, Marangal Praya Lingila than a Kudalana, Adiltene, Etu Prayam, Pudia, Marangal Kudal Petalana, Almera, and the letter. So it has the age as the Dera town. Let's go to the second paragraph. My first friend and familiar was a small grey squirrel arching his back and sniffing into the air he seemed at first to resent my invasion of the of his privacy but when he found that i did not arm myself with a catapult or air gun he became friendlier and when i started leaving him pieces of cake and biscuit he grew bolder and finally became familiar enough to take food from my hands before long he was delving into my pockets and helping himself to whatever he could find. He was a very young squirrel and his friend and relatives probably thought him headstrong and foolish for trusting human. Here a lot of criticizing factors are here between the lines in this paragraph. Now let's go. There are some unfamiliar words in this, maybe unfamiliar to you. Recent means to be indifferent. Catapult is something used to throw stones against uh, some, some fruits or birds. We, we can use catapults. Delving means entering in, inside somewhere. Here the squirrel delves into the pocket of the boy and took food. He had some friends in the banyan branches and first and familiar friend was a grey squirrel. At first, as always, animals are not friend, will not become friendly with a man because they, they doubt us. They doubt us on our nature. See how the author says, but when he found that I did not arm myself with a catapult or air gun, that is the nature of human being. Whenever we found any bird or animal or a fruit, we take stones and throw it, throw against it. That is the nature of 
everyone the gray squirrel at first he resented he he was he was not ready to be the friend of this boy then he become friendlier when he know that the boy is not a harmful one there is no catapult or air gun in his hand he become very friendly so the there is a good relationship grew between the boy and the squirrel avaru nallaru nallaru bandhathilekku avaru etti ennalladana ivide soojipikkunnathu adu manushinte oru nature undu endu kandu kanyalum pinne adine eriya nashippikka ennalla nature undu adine edireyanu ivide cheriya oru vimarshana vimarshanam aanu ivide pinne nammade writer skin bond unnikkunnathu manushinte ee oru nature ne kuriche the boy was not like that he was very friendly with the animals in this in this banyan tree so there is a harmony between the squirrel and uh, the boy that the harmony harmonious life the harmonious life between the nature and the man is the major theme of this unit the boy left food items for the squirrel and later on the squirrel become courageous enough to take food from the boy's pockets he delved the squirrel delved into uh, the boy's pocket and took food items from his pocket at the same time the squirrel has some relatives they may think that the uh, humorously the other humorously says that the relatives of the, of the squirrel may think that he was headstrong headstrong means ahangari ennu venange namukku malayalathu paraya determined determined ennana in english word ee squirrel to trust a man le manushine manushine vishwasikka mathram fool and ahang le foolum oru headstrong aayittu ahangariyum viddiyum aayittu karanam all the images of the man is very cruel uh, but this only the squirrel is becoming a friend with the human the relatives of the squirrel may doubt him in the spring when the banyan tree was full of small red figs birds of all kind would flock into the its branches the red bottomed bulbul the cheerful and greedy gossiping rosy pastures and parrots crows scrabbling with each other all the time during the fig season the banyan tree was the noisiest place on the road now he tells us about the life in the banyan tree in the spring season we know that it is a season of fruits banyan tree also get fruited and the fig fig is the fruit of banyan tree flock means come in group flock is the word for a group of birds or animals some animals scrabble means quarreling noisy quarrel between birds is meant here in the spring season when the figs the fruit of banyan tree was there birds come in numbers come in numbers to the banyan tree in spring season when the fig is fruited on the banyan tree birds will come in numbers into the banyan tree many types of birds are there red bottomed bulbul cheerful greedy gossiping rosy pastures and parrots and crows every type of birds and they squabble each other for getting figs ee fruit kittunadinu vendi avaru thammil പിന്നെ കലവില കൂടുന്ന ശബ്ദത്തിനെ കുറിച്ചാണ് ആൻഡ് ദ ബനിയൻ ട്രീ ബിക്കം ദ നോയ്സസ്റ്റ് പ്ലേസ് ഓൺ ദ റോഡ് ഇങ്ങനെ അത് എന്തായി മാറും ആകെ ശബ്ദ കോലാഹലമായി മാറുന്നതാണ് ഈ സമയത്ത് നമുക്ക് കാണാൻ കഴിയുക നൗ ഹിയർ വി എൻസ് ദ ക്ലാസ് ഫോർ ദ ഡേ ഐ വു ലൈക് ടു ഗിവ് യു സം അസൈൻമെൻസ് ദ ടീച്ചർ വിൽ ഗിവ് യു ദ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഫോർ മേക്കിംഗ് ദ പ്രൊഫൈൽ ഓഫ് റെസ്കിൻ ബോണ്ട് യു ജസ്റ്റ് പ്രിപ്പയർ ദ പ്രൊഫൈൽ ആൻഡ് സെൻഡ് ഇൻ ടു your whatsapp group the second assignment is the boy writes a letter to his friend explaining about his friendship with the squirrel this is a friendly letter you know how to write a friendly letter and your teacher will assist you will guide you and uh, you write a f- informal letter written by the boy about the friendship of him with the squirrel these two assignments are given to you so we have two assignments you just go through the story read it carefully and note down the unfamiliar words in your notebook then write the profile of reskin bond 
and write the letter written by the boy and send them to your teacher and let, uh, let them correct it and uh, we are concluding this class. Have a nice day. Thank you.